Bent Gay and the staff at Gayco Healthcare are proud to be a part of this community event. We've got a special video and I want to thank James Deal and TV35 for this video, but I, I want everybody to watch it. I hope you can get in a position to see it. Chair of the Dublin Lawrence County Chamber of Commerce, we want to thank you for all you've done for our community. You're very welcome. And for what you've done, we want to present you with another special award that's behind you. Come up, watch out for Randy. Oh man, that's, that's too pretty. And I'm gonna. All right, brother. I don't care what the women say about you. <laughs> I'm a great American. Oh, thank you so much, Ross Tollison, and appreciation of your service in the Georgia State Senate for Lawrence County in the state of Georgia. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you, Randy. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you all so much. I really, when I got the news on my health, it about floored me. And the reason I'm stepping down is because of you. 
It's my responsibility to make sure that we've got somebody in that seat that's 100% going ahead. Okay? That's what's important. I love Dublin and Lawrence County. I'm telling you. Somebody goes, why y'all over there all the time? Man, I just love to come over here and hang out. <laughs> There's nothing better. There's a lot of great people. All of you are fantastic. And I love you to death. I really do. And I told the mayor the other day, Mayor Best, I told him I may be stepping down because of health care issues in my life. But this dog ain't laying on the porch. I said, if you got something going on in the budget or anything going on during the session, you call me. Because I'll make phone calls. I got Lieutenant Governor's cell phone right here on my hip, brother. And I'll call him. And I will because I love this community so much. You're a fabulous community. You love your community. You work together. The counties and cities work together to row the boat in the same direction. And that's how you get somewhere. I tell people all the time, I chair the Natural Resource Environment Committee, and I like to be the balance between the extremisms that go on. Because at the end of the day, I want the environment to win and the state of Georgia to win. Because that's what's important. It ain't about me, it's about you. And I'll always believe that. I told a certain senator in D.C., they called me the other day. I said, well, if you need me to come to D.C. and get y'all all in a room and tell you about it, I'll be more than happy. It ain't about you. It's about America. Get over it. <laughs> Isn't that right? Woo! That's what it's about. I'm going to be doing an a, a interview on 13 WMAZ probably in the next week or so, and it's going to be talking about America. Because I firmly believe that all across this United States of America, we need to have that dialogue. Because that's what's important. It's not about the politicians. It's about America. And I'm going to start that dialogue. This little dog ain't going to lay on the porch. I'm going to start that dialogue. My wife may shoot me, but... Uh, if she did, the judge would probably just say, well, ma'am, what took you so long? Go home and have a nice day. <laughs> but no, I really do. I really love this community. People go, why are you over there all the time? I love it. It's a great community. The mayor, you are a great friend of mine. And I'm always there for you. I might be stepping down from the seat because of health care issues going on in my life. I'm still on the case for you, though, brother. You know that. And I'm going to work for you until they put me in a box in Evergreen Cemetery in Perry, Georgia. <laughs> I'll be there for you, brother, because you're a great friend of mine, and you love this community, and you work hard for it, and I thank you for that. I really do. And I'm glad you got Boss Lady Seal with you tonight, because I got my Boss Lady with me, and I know how it is. It's just yes, ma'am. <laughs> Isn't that right? But James, I want to thank you for the for the for that presentation. We love you, Senator. I almost wanted to cry. I mean, I really did. When I look at that kind of stuff, it hurts because I I love working for the community in the Senate, and it hurts to step down. But I'm still going to work for the community anyway. I ain't going to let up, brother. I'm on the case. I know folks in important places up there. I'll call. Representative Hatchet, say, Hatchet, tighten up, dude. <laughs> but no, nah, he's a great friend. Matt's been a great friend, and uh, we work good together for the community, and we're going to continue to do that. We're going to continue to do that because you're important. It ain't about me. It's about you. That's what they need to learn in Washington, D.C. It ain't about them. It's about America. I'm going to try to help them out with that because that's important. It's real important. My mama raised me better than that, and that's what I'm going to do. So with that, I just want to say thank you all so much for letting me be your senator for the, over the last whatever years it's been. And just because I'm stepping down because of health care issues in my life, I'm still going to be working for you. I'm going to work for you. I'm going to make phone calls for you. I'm going to stay on the case. I ain't laying on the porch, brother. This cowboy is going to keep on rocking and rolling. 
So uh, with that, I'm glad that my wife was able to come with me tonight because we're usually going in 400 different directions and we don't get to spend a lot of time together. But uh, I, I want to thank Sally for, for coming with me tonight. She had to rush home from work to get in the truck so we could get on over here. But, uh, but, but I want to thank her for that because she's, uh, she's just been a, a pleasure in my life for 36 years. We just had our 36th wedding anniversary not long ago. And uh, miracles never cease to happen. She hasn't thrown me out of the house yet. <laughs> never cease to happen. So uh, with that, thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. And Willie, I loved your retirement party. It was a sad and an exciting night, okay? Because I love you to death. And uh, I really, I want you to go spend some time with those grandchildren. Walk on the beach with them. Build those memories. Because that's the important thing in life. Because life's short. The older I get, the shorter I see life being. And you got to stop and smell the roses every now and then. You better do that. So with that, thank you all so much. And I'll still be over here. I'm going to be over here. I'll be saying, Mayor, can you buy me lunch today? <laughs> but no, I'll be coming over and, and uh, hanging out, and I'm going to continue to work for you. That is no doubt about that because I love this community. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Growth. It's what we all want. It means doing what it takes, getting up every morning and making it happen. And we couldn't agree more. Because your success is our success. At Morris Bank, we're banking on you. It's been my pleasure to serve with Ross for the last six, six years, well almost six years. And I knew Ross before then. Ross has done a great job for our community, for Middle Georgia, for the state. He, he's, his heart is in the right place. He's been working, as he said tonight, for us, for everybody. It's not about us, the politicians. It's about the state, the country, America. So, Ross, uh, I, I love you. You've done a lot for me. You helped me learn the ways of the Capitol. I'm still learning, and you've helped me a lot, and I appreciate everything you've done, and I wish you the best in your your future and all that it's going to hold. I know you, you're, you're going to have some rough times, but we're here for you and we look forward to hearing from you even more. Thank you. Let me tell you this much. For me to be able to even be included in being able to say something about Ross Tileson, what a, what a wonderful senator he has been for us. You know, we had Senator Gillis for so long and he served our area so well and I know that we all of us had questions as to how we'd be looked after. It couldn't get any better than Ross Tolson has looked after us. He looked after us just like we were his own family and we actually have become his own family. Uh, I just wish Ross the best and Sally in their retirement. I, I know he's got some health issues and stuff and you know, all our prayers and thoughts are going out to him and his family, but uh, just the, the, the people whose lives he's touched, and he did it so unselfishly for all those years. Uh, God put him here for a purpose, and he's carried it out mighty well. And God bless you, Ross, and your family, and thank you so much for touching all of us the way you did. Uh, Ross Tolson has been a good friend and uh, we're happy to have had him as our senator for the last 12 years. He's done a great job for Dublin, Lawrence, and the uh, uh, counties over around Perry and Warner Robins. Uh, that's his main territory. Uh, he's been a good friend of mine and I appreciate his service. Unfortunately, he's had to step down before we were ready for him to step down. and. Uh, it's going to be an election this coming month, maybe around the 1st of December, to fill his unexpired term. And uh, we look uh, forward to seeing Ross just on a friendly basis and not as a, not as a representative of our uh, person in the, you know, in the uh, state senate. Yeah, you know, uh, I can think back to when I first met Ross, and we had several trips to the Capitol, and he was always available for us. And uh, I don't know, you, you just had an immediate, you know, 
uh, friendship with him. Yeah, he's just one of us. He's been in Lawrence County so much, he does have a heart for Lawrence County, just like he said, and it's come through so many, many times. And, you know, we've reached out to him for different things, and he's all, always responded and always will continue to. He just has a heart for our community, and we appreciate that and acknowledge that, and we can't thank him enough. I feel like he's a brother, so we appreciate him. Wish him the best. You know, the first time I met Ross Tollison, uh, when he announced his candidacy, he came to the chamber, and from the moment he walked in the door until tonight and forever, I love him. Ross is the kind of guy that when he tells you he'll do something, you can count on him. If he tells you he's going to be there, he'll be there. If he says he can't do it, well, you know, come think of it, I've never heard him say that. Ross, I love you. You have been such a great supporter. You have helped Lawrence County and the whole middle Georgia area. Uh, we're going to miss seeing you daily, but we know that you're going to still be around. And again, my appreciation, my gratitude to you for being the kind of man that you are. Ross Tolson, like I call him, or like I call you, has been a friend since day number one. He always made me feel welcome when I need to talk to him. And Ross, I know that you are going to be still caring for our state, not only our city of Dublin, but our state. Uh, I hope you feel better. Um, we're going to miss you, but I know you're going to be there for us. Take care. I, I, you know, just a great friend uh, to the community. Uh, his service uh, to our community, but also to Middle Georgia. And, and really, when you look at it nationally, as well as the state, what he's done uh, with natural resources. Uh, he's been such a friend to us. Uh, he's worked diligently for so many years. Uh, to help grow Middle Georgia, protect Middle Georgia, and uh, we're very thankful for his service. Well, I will just have to say, Ross Tollison is a great American. There's no doubt the things that he has done in our community have carried us much, much farther than we would have ever imagined we could go. Ross is the kind of individual that will listen to what you have to say. He takes what we ask him to do, and he works as hard as he possibly can. And, and you know, we all consider him a friend. When we would dial up his number, he would always be there to answer it, to give us advice, give us suggestions on what we needed to do. And he was always a supporter of the Chamber of Commerce, of business, of youth, people in the community that he knows will be future leaders. We're tremendously blessed to have had Ross. Uh, we know he's still going to work for us, and we're, we're very thankful for that. Uh, but our community is a, a lot better today for having Ross Tollison as our state senator. Senator Tollison, thank you so much for your service to not only Lawrence County, but the middle Georgia area. Every time we see you, it's always a pleasure. You have always uh, put middle Georgia first. You have helped Dublin Lawrence County so much. And from Malia and myself, we appreciate you. Thank you so much, Senator. Well, this is exciting. I mean, it really is. And great to have it in Dublin, Georgia. Um, so uh, it's the first time I've seen the wall and I walked and looked at it this morning, and I'll be honest with you, these are, every name on there is a great American. These are people that answered the call of their country, and they gave, gave it all for you and me to have a good life. And I think that's, that's something you can't put a price tag on. Uh, that is exciting that we're able to be here today. I think we have a huge, large crowd, and to pay honor to people that have given their life for America. Hi, I'm Tim Brady Jr. with Dublin Ford Lincoln, and I'd like to thank all of our loyal friends and customers who have already stopped by to see our brand new state-of-the-art facility. And if you haven't stopped by, I'd like to invite you to come on out and see what we've done. I want you to know our customers deserve this, and we want you to come be a part of it. Come see us today at 2265 Veterans Boulevard. You'll love the place, you'll love the selection, and you'll love the deal we'll give you. Come see me today.